Well, we got some excitement on the farm tonight. Bailey, our golden doodle, female, is having her first litter of puppies. And we thought she was still a day or two away, but I went out to check on her and she had had the first one, but she was in such pain that she was really nervous and uh, moving around a lot and running in and out of the doghouse. And, and so the baby was cold. We have a heat lamp out in the dog cage, but or in the dog house, but she was still just really nervous and scared and hurting. And so I grabbed the baby and we brought it in and we've warmed it up and it's starting to latch on. And she just had baby number two. So we brought her into the house and we're gonna help mama be successful tonight and trying to help these babies also to latch on and get warm and, and do good. Blake's a good midwife here. You can smile, Blake. Yeah. <laughs> and Casey, huh? Casey's our little helper here. So we'll do the best we can and Bailey's gonna do the best she can. She's starting to calm down. She's still in a lot of pain, but she's not jumping up and running around like she was. On their first litter, sometimes they're so nervous because they don't know why they're in such pain, but she's figuring it out. So we'll keep you posted here. See the baby right there. She will lick it off and she actually punctures the little sac kind of and bites the umbilical cord and cleans up the baby. And so we've got number three here. like to watch this but it's pretty amazing how God helps a mom know exactly what to do. See she's gonna take the sack right off of it. She bit the umbilical cord and then she'll clean everything up. Get the baby breathing good and right off. And before long, it'll be nursing. There, there it goes, it's starting to take some breaths. She's doing good. So are our delivery nurses here. We have our son Bryson home. Hi. And his wife Shalea. She's got her own little puppy. <laughs> and we found out we're expect well, we knew we were expecting our first grandbaby, but we found out it's gonna be a boy. So to just tonight we found that out. There we go. These last two puppies have just been maybe, maybe five minutes apart, huh? There we go. Way to go, Mama. She's amazing. She's doing good. 
from the first one that she was all nervous and unexperienced. Now she's a pro. That's fat. Is that a boy or a girl? It's a boy. It's a girl. So we got three boys and a girl so far. Puppy number six. Number five. Number five came out stillborn, but Bryson's working on it to see if he can get it breathing. But there's number six and at least five that are hopefully healthy. Alright, Bailey, number seven, here you go. So there it is. It's already moving. This one's healthy. Oh wow. Oh, that could have been everything. That's a lot more than the others. She has had six alive and one still worn. Didn't that seem to be everything? There was um, no. a bunch of them came out with that big blob of stuff. them off and uh, eat the afterbirth and the placenta and the sac and everything that comes out with them and that actually gives them nutrients to put in their milk. The first milk that they give is called colostrum and that's very healthy for the puppies, for any mammals. Well, Bailey kept going, and at 3 in the morning, she had her last puppy. She had 12 puppies. Three of them were stillborn and did not make it, but we have nine healthy puppies, and they'll be ready to wean right around Valentine's Day. There's six little boys and three girls. Super excited. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please subscribe. Oh, 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 oh,